Welcome back dears again. Today we have different session because it's an interview with Corona. But before the interview, let's listen to its a song. Hey there. I saw you using that public ATM and then sticking your finger in your mouth. I see you like to take risks. What's your name? Neeti Humaniti. What's yours? Corona, Corona virus. Oh no. Come on girl. Why don't you take off that face mask so we can get infectious. My name is Corona. I'm a viral Casanova. I'll enter your persona. Let's start the interview with Corona. The first question is, who are you, Corona? I'm a coronavirus. I'm from a large family. I'm known to cause illness starting from common cold to more severe disease. Oh, I'm afraid. Let's go to the second question. What are the symptoms of someone infected? How can we know this person has Corona? It depends on the virus, but the common symptoms are fever, shortness of breath, and breathing difficulties. And in severe cases, it can cause kidney failure and even death. Try to keep quiet, Corona. I know you are dangerous. The question now, can you be transmitted from one person to another? Yes. I'm contagious. I can be transmitted after a close contact with an infected patient. For example, in a house, work, or health care center. So, I can be a pandemic in a short time. Pandemic. Mm. Is there any vaccine for you? Ha 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 ha. When a disease is new, there is no vaccine until one is developed. It can take a number of years to be developed. Number of years? Hmm. Is there a treatment for you? <laughs> there is no specific treatment for me. It depends on the patient's clinical condition. Moreover, the supportive care for infected person can be highly effective. At the end, we will say goodbye to Corona as our great scientists will create the medicine and vaccine for it like the previous viruses. Goodbye Corona, bye bye. After recognizing the virus, how can we protect ourselves? At first, you must protect yourself and others from getting sick by washing your hands 
after coughing <coughs> or sneezing Achoo! when you carrying for the sick before during and after you prepare food before eating after eating and uh, after using the toilet how can you protect others from getting sick number one avoid close contact when you are experiencing cough and fever if you have fever or if you have cough try to avoid the close contact with the other people number two avoid spreading in public avoid being in the crowded places or in the public places number three if you have fever cough and difficulty breathing seek medical care early and share previous travel history with your health care provider the important vocabs that we had in this uh, topic the first one is infectious infectious contagious infectious equals contagious what does it mean or what are the meaning can be transmitted from one to another the disease can be transmitted from one to another so i can describe the disease it's infectious or contagious the second one snotty snotty you can find it in the song snotty when the nose is full of liquid when the nose is full of liquid number three pandemic pandemic a disease that is spread over a whole country or the whole world again pandemic a disease that is spread over a whole country or the whole world symptom symptom a change in your body that shows that you are not healthy change in your body that shows that you are not healthy the last one vaccine vaccine substance that is put in the blood to protect the body from disease substance that is put in the blood to protect the body from disease at the end i think after discussing this topic you can write about it using this new vocab i hope that i could help you by showing this topic and I tried to be funny with you as we were in all our sessions. At the end, thanks a million for following. Goodbye.